Hi, I'm Sean Williams. You're here at Five Star Martial Arts in Los Angeles, California with myself and Coach Dave Molina. What we're going to do is we're going to explain, I'm going to try to explain S training, this thing called S training, which stands for submission training. I, uh, Professor John Danaher and myself kind of came up with this. Him, he definitely coined the term, um, and I think he's the brains behind it. You know, I'm just kind of the dummy behind it. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a training philosophy that, I, that everybody knows. You know, some people call it flow training or, you know, slight training. How many times have we been like, hey, Dane, you want to train light? Boink, boink. And then it escalates into full-blown training, and pretty soon you're trying to save yourself from getting yanked off the mat. Your arms, ah, it's crazy, right? We want to avoid that. So here at, my, at, at, at Five Star, what I do with my students is we do S training. You can do S training in a lot of different ways. But the, the main philosophy behind S training is that I'm going to submit him a set number of sequence sets. Could be one, could be three, it could be five. I like to start with five, right? Um, and then you go down as you get better at it. Hit him as a defensive guy, he's going to move the whole time. He's not going to be a dead body. It's, it's, it's one step up from drilling. Always remember, drilling is the most important way to learn technique. The only time you can do technique perfectly is through drilling. You can't do it in live training perfectly. Drilling should come, make up about 70% of your training. All right? How, what? Drilling's boring. This is a good way to do drilling in a controlled environment. So his, his, his job as a defensive guy is to move at the same rate of speed, slow, okay? with no strength. It's, but he has to be technical. He can't be doing silly things. Um, that way, otherwise, the, the training is going to be disastrous. He needs to be moving at a pace that I can still submit him while he's moving. Now, the idea is when I get him in a submission, he's going to do the defense. So we're going to demonstrate. The only time someone taps in this train, there's no tapping. The only time someone taps is if he does not know how to do the defense. So I'm going to show you two different scenarios. He's laid down. He's in an arm lock right now. Okay, We're in the middle of S train. I get him in a full-blown arm lock. Okay, I don't go the last way because he's going slow. So either A, he's going to defend it. If he defends, I move on. I would like to link my submissions all together. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. When I get him, okay, he's not really in danger yet. I got him in danger. This is submission number two. He's going to defend. There he goes. I know, uh-oh. Submission number three, and he defends. If we're doing three for threes, it is now his turn. And we don't start over, we continue our movement. So I'm going to continue my movement, and he's going to go along, and he's going to get three, and I'm not going to be a dumb butt like an idiot. I'm going to move, it's just slower. I'm going to move much slower, but I'm not going to do stupid stuff. He's going to get a submission, he may have to go faster. I'm going to make sure that I defend. If I don't know the defense, here's situation two. He gets here, I don't know what the defense is. I'm not going to make one up. Okay, we're being technical. If I have no idea what the defense is, I'm going to tap. He's going to release it, but he's not going to start over. He's going to keep going. He's going to look for another submission. Oh, I know this defense, so I'm going to get out. My job is to move slower. He can kind of move as fast as he wants. This time I defended a little bit earlier, and he goes for submission number three. Okay, once the submission number three is gone, I'm going to look to get out. If I, if I leave it to too late, then I have to use a later defense. But the idea is it gets us training in a way that there's no ego and it's very soft. And we're both, I know what's going on and he knows what's going on. The big problem with, hey, let's train light, is both guys have an idea of light, but they don't have a real set rule. So in, in S training, there are set rules. I must submit him. He must let me submit him. So he has to move at a speed in which I can submit him without him doing anything dumb. Okay? So what we're going to do is we'll just play around. We'll go a little less training. So we're going to show you guys a little less training. All right? um, Dane and I are going to do a flow where it's one for one. Okay? So we're going to submit each other back and forth. Okay? And that way it'll, it'll look a little bit faster, but it's still going to be very light. Now, I, as a defensive guy, I can speed up my go. I can go as quick as I want. He just defended. It's his turn. I'm gonna, we're going to keep moving. I'm not going to let him have the submission. I'm just going to keep moving, and he's going to find one while I'm moving around.
So that's a little bit of one for one. You can go, you can go. I like to start my students off with five for fives. That way he's, he's learning five submissions and hopefully linking them together, right? As you get better and better, you move down. Three for threes, you move down. One for ones. And then you do this. It's whatever it is, right? It's anybody can submit anybody at any time. And this is what it looks like. It's gonna go, we're gonna do it right now, right? And it's now hard training. And you'll notice he's gonna get me in submissions because we're gonna vary the tempo. Sometimes I'm gonna go fast. Sometimes I'm gonna slow down. But there's always gonna be a give and take. It's never gonna be me smashing him. And it's not gonna to escalate to full-blown training. So now we're gonna go and we're not gonna have any set patterns, okay? We're gonna have any set, one for one, three for threes. It's just gonna be, when I see a submission, I'm gonna take it. He's gonna defend. When he sees a submission, he's gonna take it. So we're just gonna do this about 30 seconds. If you wanna talk about a workout, this one is a nice workout. So, okay guys, so just keep in mind, we're gonna do a, a form that really doesn't have any control at all. We have control because we've done this for a long time. So you might wanna play around with doing five for fives for a couple months, then three for threes for a couple months. I've been doing this since I was purple belt. Um, so, long time. So, and, and, and Coach Dane's been doing it since he was beginning day one, white belt, I make my guys do this. So, um, don't let it escalate, okay? Don't let, as soon as you start feeling strength involved, you're, you're not doing the right thing. There's going to be a little bit of strength involved, but no heavy resistance. I'm letting him submit me, and he's going. There's just no tapping. So here we go. I'm going to play around. There you have it, right? A crazy workout and really nice and light.